if you are interested, I am giving away free Bibles. So what you can do is email me and we can set something up. May God bless you. We have to be careful of the advice that we take from people. Let me say this first. Stop hanging around people while they are drinking and smoking. I know that you may believe that you are strong or tough or not easily influenced. Look, everything is spiritual. Stay away from people while they are smoking and drinking and doing other foul things. I am telling you. Let me get back to my point. We have to be careful of the advice that we take from people. What do you mean, Kevin? Okay. If you are trying to get married, why in the world would you ask a person that have been divorced three or four times? Why would you ask a sinful single person that continues to get into bad relationships, why would you ask a person like that about how marriage should be? Why would you do that? If you are trying to learn about God, why would you ask an atheist? It makes no sense. If you are trying to learn something that is going to help you, why would you ask a person that doesn't fit the bill? Let's go to Psalm chapter 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So what is this saying here? This is saying you are blessed when you pretty much, in so many words, of course you have to minister to people that are in sin, of course. But what this is saying it is a blessing to not take the advice from sinners. So if you are trying to get married or if you are trying to do something in the right way, why would you ask a sinful person? I know for myself, and this may be a bad example, but at that time period, I was in sin. And I was talking to another person that was in sin now, but that person is dead now. And this person advised me to do something really, really, really stupid. <laughs> But I am an adult and I can't blame anything on that person. It is my fault. But because I did what that person advised me to do, I am still paying for it even to this day. I am paying for it, for that mistake or mistakes. I am still paying for it still paying for it. Now, at that time period, what that person was saying seemed really clever. But in the long run, <laughs> so many things changed 
from that time till now, by far. It is a blessing to not take the advice of sinners. Because when you are in sin, I believe I said this before, when you are in sin, your perception is off. Also, when you are in sin, many of the time, you are seeing things on one side. You are not seeing the entire picture. So within that one side, yes, you may get ahead, but with the entire picture, no, it is going to hurt you. This is why the Bible says, I don't have the scripture on me right now, but the Bible says to not lean by your own understanding. I may have to post it. Don't lean or don't go by your own understanding. So when you are in sin, you are not going by God's way of thinking. You are going by your own way of thinking or someone else that is in sin by their way of thinking. So your perception is going to be off. This is why you are blessed <laughs> when you choose to not listen to people that stay in sin. Because when you are in sin, your perception is off. So you can't trust your feelings Kevin, I feel, Kevin, I don't think you are right. I feel you are wrong. Hey, what does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? What is the point of me telling you my feelings about something, whether it is right or wrong? What is the point by me saying it if... What is the point of me telling you my feelings about something, whether it is right or wrong, when we can go by the Bible? My Bible versus my feelings. You need to go by the Bible every time. Yes, I know you may feel a certain way Yes, but when it comes down to what is right and what is wrong, you have to go by the Bible and not by your feelings. Because if you go by your feelings, my Lord, you are going to make many mistakes. You know what? Back when I was in sin, I went by my feelings. What I thought was right. Guess what? <laughs> Many things went wrong for me. I believe I have been telling you all about 2007. That year, <laughs> I went by my feelings so much and I made so many mistakes. So many. So many. And I learned that if I went by my feelings, I am going to get punished and I am going to make much more mistakes. As I grew in God and as I grow in God now, I learned that if my feelings are not based upon the Bible, I am wrong. Don't go by it. And I learned too that many things that I was feeling was wrong. Why? Why? because my perception was off. My perception was off. My perception was off. Don't go by your feelings. Go by the word of God. If you do this, 
this is going to save you so much pain and suffering. I suffered so much. I cried so much back when I was in sin. Well, I still cry now, but <laughs> but I cried so much when I was in sin because I was foolish, so stubborn and so foolish. Because I went by my feelings. I feel like since you did me wrong, I feel like I have to do you wrong. Well, since you took money from me, I feel like I have to slash your tires. Let's get back. I pray that this makes sense to you. Don't go by your feelings. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So stop listening and taking advice from known sinners. Stay away from them. Stay away from them. You need to find people that honors, obeys, obeys, or obey, <laughs> and respect God. You need to find people like that. If you go around sinners and you date sinners and you marry sinners and you do whatever with sinners, I am telling you, things are going to turn out bad for you. I am telling you. Do calf have friends? Now, there are people that I speak to but ultimately, <laughs> let me not say it. But anyways, nor standeth in the way of sinners. So what does nor standeth in the way of sinners? So you are not going where sinners go. Of course, when you go to work, sinners are going to be there. Of course, when you go to church, of course, sinners are going to be there. <laughs> so much. <sighs> what this is saying, that you are not going to bars, that you are not going to clubs, that you are not purposely going out your way to be around sinful people. Of course, there are going to be places where sinful sinners are going to be, of course. But you are not going out your way to say, hey, I am trying to have fun. I don't care if there are going to be sinners there or not. I am going to do me. No, don't do that nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So what does that mean there? So you are not doing what sinful people are doing. You are not mocking people. You are not slandering people. You are not trying to cause people harm or hurt their feelings and stuff like that. Yes, if you are trying to minister to people, of course, you need to be around sinful people because what is the point in teaching people? Let me just say this. Be careful in where you go and who you speak to, especially the people that you take advice from. People make many mistakes because they take advice from the wrong people. Let me say this. Another time when I was in sin, back in 2005 or six, I forget, maybe 2006, I was in sin and that other person was in sin. This guy told me 
to say a particular thing to someone. And I kind of figured that by saying it, well, it's going to be really, really stupid, but I believed in what that person was saying. Even though I was thinking, you are not supposed to say that to this certain type of person. <laughs> so what my crazy butt did, I went to that person and said what that guy told me to say to that person. And ever since then, with that person, things did not turn out well. <laughs> Things did not turn out well at all, at all. So let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.